fellow movie lovers. So today's review is of Bumblebee. Bumblebee is on the run from the Decepticons and seeks refuge on Earth where he forms a friendship with Charlie and together they try to save the world from the Decepticons destruction. Bumblebee is essentially Herbie meets Transformers meets E.T. and um, essentially it's about a young girl dealing with grief um, and adolescence all at the same time. Straight away, first 10 minutes is way better than Transformers 4 and 5 combined. So um, it's looking up. Um, one positive I did like was the female villain, Robot. She was badass and I love how just like no nonsense, callous and just cold she was. Um, I wish I'd seen a little bit more of that. I just thought it was a little bit safe and probably should have been a U rather than a PG-13. Unlike Incredible 2 um, or Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which are rated the same, this was so safe and stripped away and there was barely any proper like real action, aggression co compared to the Transformers franchise. So I don't know if they're we're trying to target more of the li literally toddlers or you know children under the age of 10. I don't doubt the kids will enjoy it but anyone over the age of 10, uh, 11 tops will um, be a little bit bored. So I think it was a little bit nice nice for me and I wish they'd added a little bit more pepper, a bit of hot sauce, the spice of things up a little bit. Um, that would have made the whole dish a little bit more delicious for me. Um, but because it was quite bland and I do not plan on watching this film ever again, I do give <laughs> Bumblebee a Rachel R&R rating of 6 out of 10. But like always and let me know your thoughts if you like the new direction that transformers is going in drop a line in the comments section below that would be great um but as always thank you thank you thank you for watching until next time Bye.